Hi, you probably clicked on this video because you don't know what local means and you've seen it almost everywhere in every script. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining what exactly local means. So right here, I've created a variable and I've named it local. So just to avoid confusion, I'm going to restart and I'm going to make a variable called cool number. So local cool number equals 72. And basically uh, what this means is that cool number is equal to 72. If I say cool number anywhere in the script, it's going to return 72. Basically that means if I do print a uh, cool number, it's going to uh, print 72. And that's because cool number is equal to 72. If I go in and run the game, you can see in the output it's going to print 72. And that's because cool number is equal to 72. So that is what local does uh, when you're not inside a function or anything. It just creates a variable. And remember, we use local for variables because global variables are a lot slower. Uh, Roblox states that local variables are obtained faster than global variables because they're integrated into the environment in which they are uh, created. If possible, you should always use local over global unless there's a specific reason otherwise. So basically, I'm going to be uh, creating an example to actually uh, show you guys this. So I'm going to create a function, so local. And as you guys can see, I'm using local function. That's because uh, it just calls it faster. And uh, I'm going to explain in a second here what it does. So I'm just going to name this function uh, uh, example function. And then inside this function, what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do is type local cool number again is equal to 72. Now we have cool number again, but right here, if I were to do print cool number, the script will not know what cool number is. As you can see, there's no autocomplete for cool number. So I have to type it out manually and it still doesn't work. And that's because the script doesn't know what cool number is. Now, why is that you might be asking? That's because uh, local was defined inside this scope. As you can see, uh, in, there's a little, uh, there's a few uh, indents here. And that basically means that local is defined for only anything on these indents. Uh, obviously, I can't do this because it's, uh, there's an end here. And basically, anything inside the function will know what cool number is. If I do print and I, type, uh, I try to type cool number, it's going to let me autocomplete it because the script knows what cool number is. If I run this, uh, if I run this code, it's going to work. And uh, if I were to remove this, it's not going to print 72. And that's because the script does not know what uh, cool number is. However, this is the uh, interesting part. If I remove local, as you can see, it's going to know uh, what cool number is. As you can see, uh, it's going to give me like a little bit of a warning, but it, it also just tells me to consider changing it to local. Now, essentially what this does is allows the script to know what a uh, uh, cool number is outside the function. That's because it is no longer local. It's no longer local to this function. It's now global for the whole script, and that's because it is a global variable. Now, remember, this does uh, take longer to read out, and it's better to uh, literally just return values instead. So uh, return cool number. And then over here, you can do a function like this. And basically what this does is it'll return 72. If I were to do this, it might work. Let's check it out. Um, yeah, it's going to give me the function. It's not going to print out the actual 72. Let's go in and try with the brackets. There it is, 72. That's because the function returned to 72. Remember, now that we are uh, using return, we can type local there. And this would be the uh, much better uh, option in the script, the much better way to script it. And that's because uh, local variables are better than global variables. But yeah, guys, I hope this video did teach you something about uh, local and global variables. And uh, the video you see on screen right now is, is a video that YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy. If you don't like it, you can always click off, but who knows, you might like it. So just go ahead and check that video out. That's going to be it from me, guys. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe and also join the discord and i'll see you guys in the next one peace